Charles, welcome. I don't recall reading anything in Things That Matter about Ukraine. No, I wasn't that prescient. <laughs> well, what do you what do you think of this, and, and what do you expect Team Obama to do in response, if anything? Well, actually, I did write about the fact that very early on in 2009, the Obama administration, with its cosmic naivete, uh, produced this reset with Russia. And we can see now the fruits of the reset. Putin immediately understood he was dealing with an adolescent naïf in Obama who gave him a victory in Poland and Czech Republic on missile defense, where, remember, Obama just jettisoned it as a way to appease Russia and to show how he was going to play nice, assuming reciprocal behavior. Well, now we're seeing that reciprocal behavior in the streets of Ukraine. Ukraine is the key to determining whether Putin will succeed in rebuilding a mini-Soviet empire. Without Ukraine, Russia cannot do that. With Ukraine, it becomes a mini-Soviet empire, with Kazakhstan on one side and Belarus already subdued on the other. And then it puts pressure on Eastern Europe. Putin understands that, which is why he stepped in to prevent Ukraine from concluding this deal with the European Union that would have consigned Ukraine to the West, to freedom and to democracy, which is what those people are in the streets for. And that's why they're getting their heads bashed in. The uh, the New York Times reports this afternoon that the resumption of violence underscored the volatility of a political crisis that has not only aroused fear of civil war in Ukraine, but has also dragged Russia and the West into a geopolitical struggle redolent of the Cold War. That's almost comic, Charles, because yeah. the, Putin precipitated this. He wasn't right. dragged into this. Yeah, that's like saying Russia was dragged into the invasion of Hungary in <laughs> 1956. Yes. Yeah, well, that's not how it works. Of course, you'd expect that from a newspaper that famously had a correspondent in the 20s and the 30s who praised Stalin, praised Lenin and then Stalin, uh, Durante, and who was famously found to have been uh, a fabricator. But let's not accuse him of going that far. It, dragging is not the right word. Obviously, Putin is the one who instigated this. He, he engineered the turnaround. And it's basically rather simple. The Ukrainian people in the majority, not all of them, some of them are Russian-speaking and have some affinity with Russia, but in the majority they want to join the West. Even in the Russian-speaking areas, this is where the, uh, the weakness of the current president was exposed, because that's his base. But in some of the Russian-speaking areas and cities, there have been anti-government demonstrations and takeovers. So this is a president whose support is crumbling. But he is very strongly supported by Putin, who just a day or two ago released part of an enormous loan as a way to purchase the Ukraine, the way Jefferson purchased Louisiana. Now, and we're doing nothing. 